All right, guys, renovate this back. We are here uh, at another one of the properties right around the corner from the one that we have listed right now. We are buying it. We're closing on Monday. Uh, so we're going to take you through. It's the first time you guys are going to see one of our properties where we start out start to finish. Uh, so you're going to kind of see what we, what, what we actually see and what actually we smell uh, because this one smells great. Just kidding. This place is real dumb. Wow. Guys, let's, let's go through it here. What are, we, what are we working with? I think obviously every single thing you see in here will be removed. From the bottom right up to the top, every single portion of this house will be gutted. We'll have to get into the flooring because there is obviously some kind of animals. There's a stench in here, which is just disgusting. This is kind of what they look like from the start. I mean, what are you going to do? And the first thing I think of is what walls can I take down? How can I open this up? I know that this is going to be my load-bearing wall, so that this is going to have to have a header, but it'll be open about 10 feet. I know that this is a partition wall, so that this is going to completely come out, and that'll open this up dramatically right off the bat, and that means you can also take your kitchen, you can wrap around your cabinets against that back wall. You could put a big island or peninsula coming around here, slider doors there leading out to the deck, and, and right off the bat, you have a very favorable floor plan. When you buy a house and you're, and you're ready to flip, these are the kinds of houses that you want. They may not look like it now, <laughs> or smell like it. You've asked about problems to afford, yeah. things like that. There's different ceiling heights. There's a bathroom upstairs, which means there are pipes that are down, which means we're going to have to reroute them so the ceilings can either match or they would be not noticeable and it would make our lives easier on finish. We want to try to figure out a way to either get a fourth bedroom or maybe vault the ceilings. When, when does that all start? What do you guys think is the, is the, is the next yeah. move? Our goal was to get a fourth bedroom. We're already adding two bathrooms. It usually takes Mark and I a couple of weeks to finalize the design. Then the architect will usually throw a wrench at us. Ten years ago, I would have waited till we closed before I applied for anything. And it would have cost us probably two, three weeks before we even started. At least now, the day we close, we already have the permits approved so we can start the basics and figure out the rest while we at least attempt to keep it moving. Let's jump over to John. Uh, we've got our realtor here who's gonna talk a little bit about comps. The good thing about this area is that you're not finding a lot of houses that are good for starter homes to get into Cranford. There's an area over the garage where when you're evaluating properties like this, it's how much square footage you, you wanna add. That would be a good value add, but there's a lot of work that comes with it. So you have to kind of weigh pros and cons whenever you're doing these things. We're finishing the basement and adding a full bathroom in the basement. So since we're doing that and we have to run all the plumbing over here anyway, we're gonna frame this off and make this a powder room because there's only one bathroom in, I guess, the second floor. As it is, it's a little bit trickier of, a, of an architectural plan coming in from here, squeezing a closet there and a powder room there. All right, so while we're out here freezing our asses off, let's talk timeline. Where are we at? So we're supposed to close next week, which would be the first week in February. We already have demolition approval from the town, so it would probably take about a week to get this house gutted. By the end of February, we should be in a better place. Some framing done, maybe some plumbing and electric, get into inspections, hopefully in March, sheetrock going in, let's say in April, and hopefully be listed in April or May. All right, guys, we'll uh, see you guys a uh, couple of weeks when we come back uh, after the demo's done. Renovate this. All right, well, welcome back to Renovate This. Uh, we're back here in Cranford, New Jersey. Last time we were here, we actually didn't even own the property. As you can see from walking around and some of the other stuff that you've seen, they've literally tore out everything. So give us an update, Dave. What have we done? Where are sure. we? Every single thing has been gutted to studs. That includes insulation, plumbing, electric, everything. Whatever framing we had to do or what you could see is transferring weight. So when you open walls, you always have to basically re-divert the structure one way or another. Frame bin slider doors, patios, plumbing, and HVAC work is just about done. And that's really it. So I'd say by the end of next week, we'll be ready for inspections, which is great. And then hopefully by April, which was our projected timeline, we'll be finishing. Sheetrock, paint, tile, have this thing listed in you know late April, early May. Cool. So, so far, so good. Awesome. Yeah, and you can just get hear the noise. That's the uh, guys working in the basement. But we're actually redoing and uh, finishing the basement. Uh, and putting a full bathroom down there as well. John, being on the realtor side, what do you start doing? The key with these houses is always value add. Put in a half bath there when you first walk in, which is important to have on the first floor. There was already a bathroom upstairs and then having a full bathroom in a finished basement is gonna add square footage and add livable areas because this is gonna be a smaller home. So we would need to maximize every single square foot. And then once we get a little more finished, then we'll come in, take some additional pictures. We're not necessarily gonna be doing showings because 
house won't be finished, but we're gonna do coming soon. Make sure that people know that the, the property's coming. And people in the community love these houses because it's only gonna boost their property value because you're taking the worst house on the street and making it the best. We'll be back here in a couple of weeks, show you guys kind of a little bit further, how much further along we are. And uh, I guess other than that, it's uh, we're good. So we'll uh, see you guys soon and keep turning in to uh, renovate this. All right, so we're back again at our property here in Cranford. Uh, the transformation on this place is unbelievable. I mean, Dave, uh, we, we wrapped up here over the last couple of days. We've got an open house coming this weekend. How did, how did things end up? Do we, we hit budget? Give us a little bit of a background. On this one, I would say best case scenario throughout. With the town, with budget, with design, we really didn't have any delays. In northern New Jersey, to get a whole house remodeled done in three months is pretty much the best you're doing, as ridiculous as that might sound. But for here, it's pretty good. We stuck within the design. We obviously gutted everything. We didn't change anything structural other than right here, no addition, things like that. We added two bathrooms, which definitely takes a little more time, but on budget, hopefully profitable. As long as we sell near asking, we'll be in pretty good shape, all things considered. We discussed doing an addition here, but the good thing about what we're doing, we kept it in that starter home price range. When you get into additions, as we've learned, it's up to the town, you're at the mercy for them, yeah, you need architects, whereas on this one, if they do in fact ask for something, I can usually do it myself. We decided to vault the ceiling out there. They made me give them a note saying it was basically done to code, have the architect sign, but it's not the, the back and forth. And it's everything that somebody wants. It's the modern light fixtures, it's the white cabinets with a nice quartz top. I hate to say it, but they're probably gonna hit them for more taxes. Yeah. But that's why it's not just the one person it helps. It helps the neighbor. It helps the town with the rateables and the taxes and the money that goes into helping the schools and the contractors making money, the supply house supplying the supplies, the realtor who's going to sell the property, it's huge to the entire overall uh, economy. We're going to bring in our realtor, John Ramson, to talk about uh, what's going on with the marketing of this property. What's going on? I know we got open houses this weekend. What's the, what's the game plan? We had the photo shoot end of last week and we got video done, drone done, floor plans done. Everything's been done. Websites have been built. Active marketing's been going on to promote an open house that we're running. Due to the holiday, we're gonna do Saturday and Sunday. We don't wanna miss the first week on the market. That's always your biggest opportunity to hit the home buyers. The only way to really maximize your value on a property is to have multiple offers. Price a property fairly, if not even a little undervalued, out of the gate. So as soon as we start getting multiple offers and things like that, people will overlook bedroom sizes or some of the issues that we know we're going to have already. It's important to know what your issues are potentially going to be up front because then we can start negotiating the best price and the best terms for us. We want to make sure that we're always continuing to make things profitable. So that's part of the communication back and forth between you, me, Dave, everybody understanding where we're going with, with these projects. Hopefully we'll be wrapping this thing up and then we'll be under contract here in the next couple of uh, days would be awesome. We'll, we'll put that on John. And uh, everybody, thanks so much and renovate this guys. See you in a couple weeks. Thanks again, as always. Please make sure to comment, like, and share. Renovate this.